Ok, ok. Acumado Crypto here. Oh, <laughs> nice. Bitco here we have our Bitcoin update. Hmm. Oh, man. That's so nice, isn't it? So here we have, uh, this is my daily chart. Let me zoom out a bit. Okay, my daily chart, I've changed it a bit. Okay, due to the, um, due to the alternation uh, rule, right? So the way I had before, the wave two here was flat and this was a wave four because I, I label it as a, a wave three here. But um, going by the book, we see that we have this alternation, right? So when one is sharp, one is one is sideways. Wave two is sharp. Wave four is sideways. Wave two is sideways. Wave four is sharp. Okay, and the bear is just the opposite opposite direction. Okay, alternation. Okay. Uh, the writer is not convinced that the alternation is inevitable in types of even larger formations, but there are, but there are frequently fr frequent enough cases to suggest that one should look for it rather than the contrary. So, yes, so I'm looking for it, yes, instead of uh, ignoring this case. Um, and then I count everything here, one, two, three, four, five, then we had finished this minor degree here, four here, and we put our five here. This is the intermediate, okay? We would have the first intermediate, and then we are finishing now wave two. We have finished actually, yes? Uh, right into the 61865, okay? This was a, we had Pier Street, but we are in, we spent most of the, correction around this region. I'm not saying that we have finished, but it seems like we have, okay? Because we finished the daily chart, the daily candle yesterday above with a huge candle, a huge engulfing candle, not an engulfing candle because we don't have a, a, a bearish candle before, but a, a, a huge candle, green candle, uh, above the 200 DMA, this is my 200 DMA, okay? Above the 100, above everything, we have this cross here. So, this is, uh, <clears throat> we have a lot of signs, right? A lot of signs. Uh, and uh, it's difficult not to say that uh, this is a, this is a, a bullish count, yes? That we have a trend reversal, it's difficult. So, yes, and uh, we have broke out of this. Okay, let me just change a little bit because we just a bit up here. Yes, um, yes let me just, okay, I'm gonna count the weeks. So, yes, it's not like this. Yeah. Um, Yes, we are above it. So we broke out of the ABCDE pattern. Yes, broke out of it. Nice. Uh, this is the daily chart, okay, guys? Daily chart, my one, two, three, four, five, my one intermediate, two, and then we would have a nice uh, bullish prediction of a 40K here, okay? If we follow, if we use our... Uh, uh, our extension here, Fib extension, one extension two. We are gonna have this three here, 168, 175. This is the target, 3900. Okay. Oh damn, 40k. Oh, wave three guys. <laughs> if this is true. We are gonna see a lot of, <laughs> a lot of people talking about Bitcoin. And this is my weekly chart, okay? Again, we have, of course, the, the 100 EMA, we are above it. We have been above it since the beginning, okay? And we, we, were, we were below the 55, but now we are above it, and we are across the 21 EMA. Another bullish sign, okay? Uh, and we broke out of this ABCDE pattern again with more confidence in the in the 
weekly chart more it's it's more to add to my it's more full to add to this bullish bias okay it might be wrong always but it's it's starting to be it's starting to be really difficult to to understand this movement otherwise to understand it as a bear is difficult I, I can't see it this trend line here is uh, it's it's just so decisive for this movement don't you think and we broke out of it I don't see it if you look at the at the history here of, uh, of what happened we don't see a huge week like this and going down I, I, but uh, the indicators we have we have yet to show volume here when we have a lot and we indeed we have a lot to grow here a lot the OPV is the same and the MACD is crossing okay this is uh, all good signs guys all good signs okay um, okay and this is my hour chart okay um, okay this truncated fifth wave here one thing that I would like to discuss with you guys is that why I'm am I using this truncated fifth okay if we look at the daily chart and we zoom in like I just did okay it's clear one two three yes one two three it's a uh, clear as crystal clear <laughs> okay one two three so using our fib extension tool okay extended wave we of course we can't see here the subdivisions but <clears throat> well, what would what would you say would you say that this is an extended tree uh, above the 200 yes i would say that if we measure like this we we don't see the one two one two in, because this is daily it's so difficult to see we need to of course we always need to take a look at the uh, at lower time frames okay and when when i look at this movement from a daily perspective i can't see this as a truncated fifth okay i got to say that because this is important this was what this was 6k let me see here yes this it's the same movement right this was the movement here a lot and then we have this uh, so i i am why i'm keeping the count the way that it is why i'm counting because of this pattern here guys this pattern here is so similar to this pattern here and this is a fourth wave okay one two three four five we finish wave three again a fourth wave of this higher degree okay and of wave three here five finishing this three then we have this fourth wave and five i i am inclined to to see these three patterns here okay this is my bias I'm, i i might be totally wrong okay um and this is actually uh one but i can't see the subdivisions when i look at it at one hour chart i i see this as a a b c a b c okay a b and then an ending diagonal corrective here c ending the ending diagonal for our wave c three 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 and then we have a one two three four five we have a truncated fifth I, it's difficult seriously um and this movement is clear it's a motive impulse yeah it is one we can argue with that but this movement here okay i am i am keeping it this way but i i am really start to to reconsider it as a one two three because it's when we look at the daily chart okay we see this okay it's clear one two we, we don't need to think that we finish this whole structure here this whole motive impulse wave down here and now we are starting another 
motive input. We are we change we are changing the the trend. We are now starting a motive impulse wave up. Yeah, we finished this this structure A B C D E, and now we are getting out of it. So hmm. the way I have it though, the way I have it. Okay, we finish it here. It it, it doesn't change a lot. It, my count is if you have a one. This is a one, then you have a two, then you're gonna have a one, two, it's exactly the same. What's gonna change is if you put a pitchfork here, yes, it's it's gonna help you a little bit. I'm not gonna do that because it's not my count, okay? And we can't, uh, we, we, we don't have a pitchfork here, and that's one of the things that is bugging me, because it, it hurts my, my... My geometry, right? It, it geometry doesn't look like right. So, hmm. I might need to change it. And it's okay. Elliot wave is about... Uh, it's about... What is, Elliot, what is the Elliot wave principle, guys? It's just about uh, reacting to the market. Why we, why we change so much our accounts? We don't change so much. By the way, we, we keep our chains and we do micro changes just to to react to the market. If we keep our accounts like and we don't we keep it like and say, OK, I am right and I'm going to keep it that way. The market is not a static thing that is uh, it's never changes and it's it's uh, uh, it's uh, no matter what you do, no matter what you do. If you use EMA, okay, you have the averages, okay, and then you are, and you see that the, the, I don't know, uh, you see that the 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 candle is starting to, to, you are bullish, but then you see that the candle, that, but then you see a suddenly break out of the the 55 EMA down, and you start saying mm, this might indicate that we are getting weaker and uh, and so on and uh, you need to react okay you don't have the count forget about the count but anyway you have a, a wave formation you have a direction and you need to react you need to react and uh, uh, use your stop loss accordingly use your stop loss uh, uh, Leather your buys or leather your shorts, whatever. You need to, uh, to react. Elliot Wave is just one tool in uh, just one one more tool in your toolbox if you want to use it. But what I think is necessary, it's Fib uh, Fibonacci. Okay, you you got to know how to use Fibonacci retracement and extension. Okay, it's a big tool. It's uh, not only in crypto markets, but in all markets that you're gonna see around, okay? It's so pervasive. Okay, enough. Uh, so, let me see this count. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. Then we have what? Yeah, it's a weird, this is, should be here. I think I changed something here. Let me let me erase this thing here. Let me. Uh, this is a one, two, one, two, three. This is what I have. Okay. There's another four. Four would be here. Uh, okay. This is this is better. Okay. Um, so I'm counting like this. Okay, we have this this four this first wave here. A B C two here. Okay, two, three, two, three, four, five, three here. Now we are correcting for our wave four. Okay, let's measure this wave four where it uh, might land. Okay, there we have it. Okay, it's uh, it's crossing the twenty three sixty percent. Let me turn this off. The EMA. Um, here we have it. Okay. Um, 
fifth wave here, third wave is here. Third wave of higher degree. Okay. So now here one, two, three, four, five, A. Okay, this is wave A, A at least is clear for me. A not finished yet. Okay, not finished yet. C. Something like this. Okay. You see? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, yet to finish this wave. Yet. Okay. Then our wave B here. Okay, let me show the wave. And then our C. Perhaps going deeper. Okay, going deeper. Indeed. Why not? I am. Uh, I am. Mar I, I have marked some of my buys here. I might wanna change it to this. And I'm gonna start laddering. Oops. I'm sorry. I'm start laddering a little bit lower here. Start laddering at a 38 percent. Okay. 30 to 20 percent. I'm gonna start laddering my buys. Okay. Here. Eight thousand. Seven nine hundred, yeah. By four, right? This is our box here. Might uh, the way that I see, okay, guys. <laughs> I'm not saying that I'm right. I might be right. I might be wrong. Uh, we have pierced this strong resistance six one eight six five, swinging high to low here retracement. Uh, from this whole wave here, whole structure, this whole motive impulse wave down, we are now at the 61865%. We, we pierced it and now we are pulling back, we are retracing. Now we need to uh, have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to break out of this structure here. Break out of this uh, resistance here, I'm sorry, not structure, but 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Five. Uh, oops! Oh, damn it! Something. I would. I think we are gonna stop there. Okay. Stop at the 80, 80, 70 percent. Another strong resistance. We might not have a. Uh, it's just. It, it, it's not. Doesn't. Guys, don't look at the absolute levels of those uh, waves here because I'm just drawing it. Oh come on! Okay, okay, around 9k, yes, 9400. Okay, this is, I think, where we are gonna stop, or perhaps a bit higher, touching 10k. Okay, and it would be nice because we would challenge this, this high here. Okay, and if we break this high here, we are pretty much done. Yes, we are gonna be confident that we are in a in a trend reversal like a lot because this is this is the price that we should challenge now 10k okay get out of this um this is my count for now guys i, th I think it's pretty simple to once we have this kind of scenario that we have here okay if you don't like uh, elliot waves is simple it's really simple uh to play okay you see that we are bullish okay we are above uh this is a one hour okay we are above uh the 200 ema is below supporting the 100 ema and 55 ema the 21 ema every time that it crosses the 55 ema in a bear in a bullish mark like this we buy simple every time it crosses the 21 EMA and the 55, you buy and then you have profit. Have it, like now, you see, it's crossing the 21. We are probably gonna touch the 55 EMA. This is where, uh, mark my words, I might be wrong, but <laughs> who knows, right? It's probably gonna go down here to the region. Uh, let me show you guys. This is a, it's not a Elliott Wave strategy. If it goes like this and you see it dangling. I'm sorry, it's, you see this um, going down here, okay, doing something, uh, you see the this wave doing something like this, yes, and then you see this one going and touching it here, and then we have our wave 4, 
you just buy here because it crossed the 55 EMA. And then you are confident that you are going to have a, a, a lot of room to take your profit. It's not Elliott Wave. It's just one technique. One, one, uh, one, uh, one, it's an EMA technique. Like here, we had this, the, the 21 EMA touched the 55 EMA. We had this opportunity of buying here. Wave C, the way I mark it here. Okay, touch the the 100 MA support and boom, reaction and a lot of profit if you bought it here. Okay, and you now have uh, 1,000 or more. You you had a chance to profit 1,000 for each Bitcoin. It's a lot. So if you touch it, the 55 MA and like touch the support of 100 you see it's exactly where we have the fourth wave exactly so the elliot wave and the ema is talking they are talking to each other they are talking we are working with those tools with those two with those tools together okay and so it's if it's in a we if we indeed have a trend reversal and we are in a bull market now i don't know it's just too soon <laughs> It's early. It's too soon to tell, yeah, to be confident. But it's gonna be like this, okay? This is how I tra I, I trade it. By the way, I just wait for it to touch the 100 EMA or to cross the 55, and I buy it, and then I sell it after a a reasonable profit. I don't need to 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 hit all the targets, guys. Oh, I I I'm, I want to sell at. 9k i want to sell a 10k no you you establish uh a profit for you like i don't know 300 and then you sell it manage your risk get in and get out of the market always and don't don't get yourself exposed for a long for long periods of time this is what i i think it's wise to say doesn't matter what kind of uh, strategy do you use Okay, I think it's enough, guys. Um, if you guys like my channel and those updates, please subscribe and follow me on the social media. Um, I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna start talking more about alts. Uh, let's see if I'm gonna record a video just about EOS. Why EOS? Because I like the project and because it has a lot of volume on Bitfinex okay and if you guys have suggestions ideas uh, feedbacks whatever you can always write for me i'm gonna be here for you guys to, to answer the questions and to give you guys my and to share my ideas with you okay thank you very much and we see each other next one later bye